attracting students from Bahrain, the Gulf and beyond. RCSI Bahrain continues to lead and cultivate the brightest minds in medicine. The Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland Bahrain provides healthcare education and training that meets the highest international standards, including the World Federation for Medical Education. RCSI Dublin and the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland Bahrain guarantee their students a premium education with first-class facilities. Whilst the college's curriculum originates in Ireland, RCSI is truly an international organisation, creating the best, producing the finest and shaping the future doctors and nurses around the world. The story of RCSI Bahrain begins really towards the end of 2003 when the government of Bahrain and the Royal College Church in Ireland signed a memorandum of understanding uh, which provided for setting up a medical university in Bahrain and very significantly it also provided for access of our students and academic staff to the healthcare facilities within the Kingdom. RCSI chose Bahrain to set up a medical university because RCSI and Bahrain have had a long tradition of working together. For about 20 years RCSI has run postgraduate courses and exams in Bahrain and many Bahrainis have studied in the college uh, in Dublin. Earlier this year, the President of Ireland, Mary McAleese, travelled to Bahrain to open this campus with His Highness the Prime Minister of Bahrain, and this indicates the strong regard that RCSI is held with by in Ireland. It's so good to be in your company on this glorious day, which is a proud day for both Ireland and Bahrain. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a very important landmark too in the delivery of health care education in the Gulf region. Well, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland has been on the go for about 225 years. So that's a long time, but it's much more than old and venerable. It has learnt a lot in that period of time. It's learnt a great deal about surgical training, education and more recently in research. And the college has learned throughout that period about establishing new dialogue with colleagues. It has uh, learned a great deal about establishing and developing medical students. It's very much in tune with contemporary developments worldwide. And that information and that history makes it very ideally placed to establish a medical school in the Gulf region and in countries way beyond the shores of Ireland. It transferred all that knowledge, all that wealth around the globe from Ireland to Bahrain and then now merging the values of an Arabic culture into the values of an Irish culture and a Western culture. You can imagine what uh, the, the wealth of values that it can bring. It's also a not-for-profit organisation, which is very important, but it's independent in that it doesn't get government funding and therefore it's free to follow its noble purpose. We are recognised by the National University of Ireland and we have always, or we have many, external people who come to look at our programme and assist the programme and help us in improving the curriculum. We benchmark our medical program against the World Federation of Medical Education Standards for Medical Education. The college has, by a direct and specific policy, attempted to spread its activity to overseas countries. 
and that it's done that, in my opinion, in a very careful and sure-footed way. It's been very sensitive to local needs. It's been very careful to adapt to local cultures. A combination of RCSI's own resources and borrowings were used to fund the university. The investment to date has been significant. Um, around $30 million has been invested in the setup costs of the university, and a further $65 million has been invested in this new campus. And the investment has allowed for state-of-the-art facilities for the students. Uh, for example, there's clinical skills laboratories with the most sophisticated of mannequins, so the students can gain expertise in clinical skills before going to the hospitals. We use this facility to teach undergraduate skills to both medicine and nursing students. We have ambitions to in increase the capacity to teach postgraduate courses for advanced nursing practice and for advanced surgical skills such as laparoscopy and endoscopy. This is the most advanced unit of its kind in Bahrain and we have ambitious plans to become a regional centre of excellence. Uh, information technology is very important. All students receive a laptop when they join the university and this building is Wi-Fi enabled. And technology plays a large part in the teaching through the VLE or virtual learning environment. Our programme launched in October 2005 has gone significant changes from a traditional discipline-based model to a more outcome-based, integrated and modularised system. The breakdown of our medical student population is roughly about two-fifths are from Bahrain. Um, about two-fifths are from the other GCC countries. And the remaining one-fifth are from a whole range of countries, about 25 different countries. We have a very diverse student population, which I think is wonderful in the sense that students learn from other students about different cultures, different religions. They learn tolerance, they learn about differences. But in any event, if you take our overall student population, there's a very good mix of Bahraini people and uh, people from the other GCC countries and from the wider world. On the administration side, uh, we have a number of talented Bahraini staff and we also have uh, other nationalities on the administration side. The policy of our CSI Bahrain would be to recruit the highest calibre staff, whether from Ireland, locally or internationally. But it's true to say that the majority of the full-time academic staff in our CSI Bahrain are Irish. But I'm a graduate of, of Ireland myself, so I know the nursing education in Ireland. And uh, I joined them, yes, in 2006. And we've moved very fast. We have now the bachelor program, we have the BSc bridging program, and we also have established a master program in the past three years. We benchmark our academic programs against international norms. Really, it would be very difficult to see how a student would get a better education anywhere else. In the medical school here are soundly and firmly based on clinical medical practice, aided and abetted by a view of innovation and perhaps research that will place them, ideally, one hopes, to be flexible and adaptable to practice medicine wherever they are. Many young people come to nursing because they want to wear the white uniform and that's it. So we make it very clear what is nursing and caring for sick people and uh, what rewards, more than financial reward, what do they get out of caring for sick people. So really nursing from the old age until now always has been a popular profession. So they have no problem there.